There's an elephant in the room and no one's talking about it. The biggest opportunity in the entirety of cryptocurrency is sitting there in plain sight. And both you and I have the opportunity to get ahead of the game, to get ahead of this trend, and to own pieces of the protocol that very well might be central players in the biggest industry that has yet to happen in crypto land. If you guys are fans of this channel, you'll know that I am a huge believer in derivatives. For better or for worse, they are the biggest and most liquid market in our central financial systems, and they are severely underdeveloped and misunderstood here in crypto land. And for that reason, we're going deep and identifying a few amazing opportunities that you can get ahead of the trend of not just derivatives, but decentralized derivatives, a hundred times less developed than the centralized derivatives platforms. If you're ready to hear about the biggest opportunities sitting right under your nose here in crypto land are, then do me a favor and smash that like button, destroy it, because today's video is an absolute heater full of information that will help you navigate the next few months and years of crypto land. We're also gonna be giving away a free ledger at the end of the show. And if you guys wanna be entered to win on the next giveaway, feel free to leave a comment under this video, any comment and you'll be entered to win a free ledger nano. So before I'm gonna dive in, I'm gonna talk for a second about MCO, which absolutely exploded last night. And it's a project that I care a lot about because they're partners of the channel. Now, if you guys are not familiar, the absolute best and leading cryptocurrency card, crypto.com has just announced their plan to combine their two coins, MCO and CRO, and they're offering swaps which are only available in the app. So if you guys are not already signed up for the app, you can swap these MCOs for CROs at an amazing rate. So if you get in and sign up now, you could take advantage of some arbitrage opportunities. However, things are always changing. They're always in flux. So by the time you see this, I'm not sure what exactly the ratio between MCO and CRO will be. However, if you're not already signed up for crypto.com, they are the best crypto card on the market and you can get a free $50 bonus by signing up with my link down in the description. I also get a bonus so it helps the channel and I appreciate you guys supporting. To understand the size of the cryptocurrency derivatives market, we're going to be looking at a data visualization here provided by visualcapitalist.com. But all of these pale in comparison to the stock market here at almost $90 trillion. As you can see, crypto is just three of these little blocks. And you might think that this is one of the biggest markets in the world, but compared to the derivatives market, it is nothing. Because at the high end of estimates, the derivatives market is estimated to be almost one quadrillion dollars in value. That is 1,000 trillion. That's right, I'm still scrolling, and this is still the estimated size of the derivatives market. It couldn't fit on the screen no matter how small I make this chart. And that's because the derivatives market in the mainstream financial world is orders of magnitude bigger than the underlying asset markets that it represents. Now, in this particular instance, you don't need to understand how a watch works. You just need to be able to read the time. And in this particular example, just know that the derivatives industry is way bigger than the underlying financial markets. However, in crypto, the derivatives market is not as big as the underlying financial markets, meaning even if the market doesn't grow in size from here, which it will by orders of magnitude, we can see that it still has incremental growth to experience to just catch up to make parity with the way it works, with the way things work in the centralized financial system. We see here that $8.8 trillion of crypto trading happened in Q1 of 2020, and only two trillion of that volume was cryptocurrency derivatives. Now, in the mainstream markets, we know that this is orders of magnitude up to 50x larger than the underlying markets. But in crypto land, we're just one third. One third compared to 50x, that is a whole lot of room for growth. Here in Q1 of 2020, we saw the total derivatives trading over 3x the volume of 2019 averages. So we see that there's 300% growth in just Q1 of 2020. And we know there's a crazy trend right now towards DEXs with DEX volume on exchanges like Uniswap swelling up to nearly $150 million per day. The trend towards derivatives and the trend towards decentralized trading is unbelievably strong unquestionable and rooting against it is like rooting against father time the inevitable this is going to happen and the question is how big and for how long but there's no question as to whether or not this is going to happen so now that you understand the derivatives market in the centralized financial world, the legacy system is way bigger than the underlying markets, you can see that there's tons of room for it to grow here in crypto land. But more importantly, we can also see that the trend towards decentralized derivatives is going to allow for these decentralized platforms, which are barely being used compared to the centralized derivatives platforms, they can grow 
hundreds if not thousands of exes just to get on par with the relationships that exist in the centralized financial world. Not to mention the growth of the entire cryptocurrency industry, the opportunities here actually boggle the mind. Now we can see here that in the DeFi ecosystem there are several derivatives platforms, but of these the ones we're going to focus on primarily is synthetics as well as one other gem that I think you need to be aware of. DYDX is probably the best option, however they do not have a platform token so investing in their platform is trickier. Numerai is an interesting platform, however, decentralized derivatives are not their core focus, so the token is not directly tied just to derivatives trading, and in that sense, there is a more direct way to get your hands on a token that's going to benefit from this trend. Open is doing insurance, and UMA is also doing kind of like insurance stuff. So of these, Synthetics is by far the one that we're going to focus on. I've done a full deep dive on Synthetics, which I'll link in the description. If you want to get even more information and insight into Synthetics, then we're going to cover today. Synthetics is a decentralized synthetic asset issuance protocol allowing users to mint, hold, and trade a diverse range of derivatives including fiat currencies, commodities, and stocks, as well as cryptocurrencies like BTC Maker and Link. Scrolling through here, we can see that derivatives and other traditional financial assets are a massive market, aggregating hundreds of trillions of dollars in value, now closer to thousands of trillions. With that, Synthetic provides a mechanism for those legacy assets to live on Ethereum in a decentralized and permissionless fashion. With Synthetics, anyone in the world can gain exposure to Apple or Tesla stock without having to deal with the high friction of financial regulations. Moreover, traders have a way to easily access a basket of crypto assets in both long and short form. They have a few different products here, but the one we're going to be focusing on is the Synthetics Exchange, Synthetics.Exchange, and we're looking at the Options tab here, which as you can see is currently in beta. As I scroll down, you can see you can trade ETH futures, Synthetics futures, Link futures, but soon people will be tokenizing and putting on the blockchain all kinds of futures, whether it's Apple futures, Tesla futures, or any kind of asset that you can speculate on whether it's going to go up or down. These are the complex mechanisms by which the highest value of investor use to manage risk and gain exposure to different asset classes. If you were to ask the most experienced and most profitable traders in the industry, surely they will tell you that they are trading derivatives, whether that's futures or options. And this is a trend that I am highly confident will not only continue, but may start to explode in the not too distant future here in crypto land. By getting into the decentralized derivative industry, you will be entering into the most nascent and most likely to grow, I believe, of all industries in the crypto landscape. Now, this is not necessarily an accurate representation of what will happen, but I just went ahead and put one quadrillion into the calculator here and divided it by 500 million, which is essentially the market cap of Synthetics, which is the highest valued derivatives trading platform or decentralized derivatives trading platform here in crypto land. And that gives you a result of 20 million, which would mean that Synthetics would have to grow 20 million X to equate to the current value of the derivatives industry. Now, obviously, that's never going to happen. It's never going to come anywhere close to that. But if it was one-tenth of one percent of the derivatives industry or one one-hundredth of one percent of the derivatives industry, you could still see some serious gains here, upwards of thousands of Xs. And that's why I'm so passionate about the derivatives industry, specifically the decentralized derivatives industry, is because it is so ripe for disruption. It is so ripe for a protocol call to come forward and become the Ethereum, if you will, of that industry. And that platform could be worth trillions of dollars, literally. Another player in this game is Digitex Futures, and they're essentially allowing for you to trade Bitcoin futures with zero fees. The way they do this is with the DGTX token. The DGTX token is the native cryptocurrency of the Digitex Futures Exchange. Your account balance on the Digitex Futures Exchange is denominated in DGTX. Tokens and all your trading profits and losses are in DGTX tokens as well. Traders must have a positive balance of DGTX tokens in their trading account to place trades on the Digitex Futures Exchange. So you need these tokens to play and you need a certain value of them within your account or else you can't place trades. So as the daily volume and the value of this platform expands, the value of their token will expand, again showing that you can have an amazing relationship between the growth of decentralized derivatives trading and the growth of this token. Now, as you can see here, sitting at about six cents with a market cap of 50 
58 million. And especially what I love to see, which is over the last two weeks, this thing has been dumping like crazy. It got a little overhyped here at the beginning of July, and now it's really dumping down. Who knows? It could find some support here around, you know, six and a half cents. It looks like it's that's where about where it is right now. Yeah, six eight. It could come down to like six five, six three. But essentially, this thing has come off its highs significantly, and there's nothing better than when you really like a project and it's dumping like crazy. You can get yourself in on a nice buy. So I really like Digitex futures. I'm gonna start sizing up a position because I believe that if a project like this absolutely pops off and they're able to get hundreds of millions of dollars in trading volume, billions of dollars in trading volume, which these futures platforms absolutely are as soon as they get popular, this could without a doubt lead to an explosion of the DGTX token. And so for me, this is a sensible and probably the most sensible way to get involved in the futures of the decentralized derivatives trading industry. I was gonna cover a few more coins, but I don't really think I have enough time to go into enough detail on this video. So if you guys wanna see me do more videos on the decentralized derivatives industry, without a doubt, the most explosive opportunity for gains, in my opinion, in the entire crypto industry, sitting right under your nose, literally the most obvious behavior happening in the centralized world that has yet to truly find its home here in the decentralized world. Do me a favor, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what derivatives play you like here in the cryptocurrency industry. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like it, do me a favor and smash those likes. Now I told you I'd be giving away a free Ledger Nano S. So what we're going to do is give away a free Ledger Nano S right now. We're gonna get these YouTube comments. This is coming off of my 10 coins to 10 million video. We're gonna randomly select a winner and that winner will have 24 hours to get in touch with me via email. Please, no imposters, I will find you out. I will sniff you out. I will make sure that you are able to confirm that you are in fact this person. So don't waste my time with that, please. Let's go ahead and pick a winner. We have winners, Alan Douglas, great new logo and brand change, Elliot. Thank you, Alan, I appreciate it. I was actually nervous to change the logo and brand around, so that really makes me feel good, and I couldn't be happier that you won the Ledger Nano S. For everyone who didn't win, though, be sure to leave a comment on this video or any video this week, and you'll be entered to win your own Ledger Nano S. Well, there you have it, a behemoth of an industry sitting right under our nose. The biggest project in the space at just $500 million in market cap is but, as Eric Crown would say, a drop of pee in the ocean. This is nothing. We have not even come to occupy a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a percent. The opportunity for derivatives to fully make their way to cryptocurrency land and then once again migrate to a decentralized format is something that can't be overestimated. It can't be overstated. The growth that could happen for any one of these projects is absolutely gargantuan. And for that reason, I couldn't be more passionate about projects like Synthetics and Digitex Futures. Now, bear in mind, anything could happen and this is by no means saying that these projects are guaranteed to be the winners. However, I believe by taking educated bets on a wide variety of cryptocurrency derivatives projects, you will put yourself ahead of a trend that will absolutely melt faces here in crypto land. So if you guys are excited by the information I presented, if you understand the size of the opportunity in front of you, do me a favor and obliterate that like button. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. And of course, if you're not already subscribed to Elio Trade, I highly encourage you to hit that sub button and don't be afraid to click that little bell notification. If you don't click the bell, YouTube has been known to censor cryptocurrency content. One of the biggest creators, Altcoin Daily, had their channel taken away unjustly. Thankfully, they're back. We actually managed to get their channel back. So that's a huge celebratory win for the whole community. So if you wanna be of the first to know about the information I present, I highly encourage you to hit the bell. As usual, thanks for watching. My name's Elio Trades and I'll see you very soon on the next episode.